this is Andy Tube. I started working on this broken screw in uh, the Singer 301 that I call Oh No. <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd, I'd film it in case I'm successful. Um, I had a number of people offer me some really great suggestions on how to get this out. The consensus of most people that I talked to uh, was that this size of screw is a, is a very difficult to get out because of it's small. It's like one eighth or smaller. Uh, with with the kind of thing you drill a hole and you back it out with a special bit. So what I had planned to do was to take a roto tool and cut down around the steel screw through this aluminum post that it mounts into and uh, I started looking at it because I only have about an eighth of an inch sticking up above that but what I'm going to try before that um, was what I've been doing was just filing down uh, like the, the side of the screw a little bit not too much because it's it's only a 1 8 inch screw but my idea was to file down the sides to make a little bit of a flat spot with the hopes that I could grip it with um, the very tip of my vice grips and I, I, I figure that if it smashes it or um, you know tears it apart or something it's not going to be much worse than it is now and I'd, I'd rather try that before uh, cutting into the aluminum um, of the machine of the casting because I'd like to leave the original machine as much as possible in, in original condition so that's what I've uh, been filing down and I thought if I had a little flat spot I could it would be less likely to slip off the round threaded screw so uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if it works here. Uh, oh, I heard a little snick like when a screw uh, breaks free. I can't, I can't really see if it's turning the screw or if, if just the vice grip is turning on the screw. So let me give it a couple turns here and see if I can get part of it in the, let's see if I can just turn this by hand now. It looks like the screw is actually turning. Um, does it? Yeah, I'm starting to see a couple of threads. Wow. I think this is going to work and I am really relieved because this is not my machine <laughs> and I've never had this happen before but it looks like it's definitely coming out oh good deal so I guess that little tiny bit was just enough up oh. did I speak too soon <laughs> I think I twisted off, but I've got I've got more I can grip on now. I got more than a quarter inch exposed now. So let me see if I can get it on here and ugh. and uh, yeah. I'm really happy that this worked because I, I didn't want to have to uh, damage the casting on the machine. 
bad enough I broke the screw. But there it is. So let me let me get that out of there. And you can get a better better shot of it here with some light. I really didn't have this set up good for filming because I, I didn't even think about filming it until I filed down. You can see that I the the brake was one was uneven. One side was higher than the other. So I went kind of to the sides of the brake and just just filed a little bit with the metal file to try and get a flat spot. But it it definitely worked. How about that? Wow. I don't really, there's discoloration, but I don't see rust. But you know what I did is I propped the machine up in this, in this uh, box here. And I wrapped a, a, like a cotton makeup remover pad around it to kind of build it up on the sides and held that on with a rubber band. And then I sprayed it like five or six times a day with penetrating oil for three days. <laughs> and I just let it sit there while I was, I was uh, finishing up rebuilding the motor and I rebuilt the foot controller and some stuff like that. And uh, I think between that long uh, soak of the penetrating and being able to get a little bit of a grip with that vice grip, uh, that was enough. So I, I, I kind of roughed that up a little bit, but uh, I can just smooth that out with the, with the file and make it look nice and smooth. And then I can, uh, I'll get a new, uh, a new screw and cover for it. Yay! Okay, so I'll probably post this on my channel just because uh, people were kind enough to give me some different suggestions, you know, try and get a vice grip on it, um, you know, use the extractor drill bit method, um, cut, cut this down. One of the worries was there wouldn't be enough to get a good grip on it, so to cut down this tube about a quarter of of an inch or maybe an eighth of an inch more to be able to get more of the screw in the vice grip that would still leave a good quarter inch left for the threads you know but as luck would have it it turned out okay man good I'm glad that's been a mental splinter for me so I'm glad it's out of there thanks for watching uh, come back and see Andy Tube sometime. Take care.